Hey there guys, gals, and non-binary pals, it's DMG, and welcome back to World of Tank Splits. And today I have mastery gameplay for you in the Tier 7 British Medium Tank, it is the Comet. Now what is so special about the Comet? Ridiculous amounts of DPM, strong turret, in not the sense that it has all this armor, but it has enough of a mantlet to bounce shots, and 12 degrees of gun depression. So when you combine all these three things together, you get a great ridgeline fighter that has the ability to burn things down with ease. And we are in a top tier matchup on Lost Temple. So what do you want to do on Lost Temple? You want to get to the temple steps and climb to the top. Taking that location, even in medium tanks, is so important if you want to win the game. I will be platooning with SGM Zorbaz and we will be going into the temple area immediately and you will see the benefit of taking these key positions in a timely manner. And this is why I run engine boost again. Well, I'm going to hold off on that real quick because I'm going to let you see why I run engine boost. But right now, I just bomb it right to this temple steps and I am immediately trying to get up there without thinking about anything else right now. Now Zorbaz is going to take the left side, I'm going to take the right side. He spots that ARL-44 crossing, and then he also spots a Cromwell B. Now that we have taken this area, it is very difficult for them to push into the temple steps and take us out as they will get burned down with superior DPM. And this Jumbo makes an absolutely awful mistake. Or is that the Easy 8 Regardless, but he is not going to even be able to make it up to the temple steps as he has already lost half his hit points and has not even made it to the Pagoda to climb. And this has put that Easy 8 in a very, very bad position. I tried hitting his cupola, but that was kind of a chancy shot anyway, so not really something I should count on. And this ARL is going to be quite the annoying little threat, as I'm trying to shoot the soft targets to my left, but that ARL is on my right. I pop him one just so that he knows I'm ready to shoot him in the event he comes around the corner again. Hopefully that scares him off enough to the point where I can easily dominate the other soft targets. Now... The good part about this Comet is that it has a mantlet, and unlike the Cromwell, this mantlet bounces things. And Zorbaz takes the Easy 8 out of the game, and I bounce the Easy 8 right before his death. Now, I'm going to put shots into the Comet, and the Comet doesn't have the best shell velocity, and granted, this tank needs some equipment, in my opinion. Uh, Supercharge would do wonders for this tank, and so would uh, the improved accelerator, just allowing you to really roll over hills and uh, allow you to get to locations in a much more timely manner. Now that ARL is going to pop around the corner, I immediately turn my turret to re-engage, and I, I am into the Tiger P now. This gun does feel quite comfortable though, and you don't feel bad about missing a few shots because you have a healthy amount of ammo and you have a quite high rate of fire with a reload time of about 3.4 seconds. That's not even counting adrenaline. When you pop adrenaline, your DPM goes through the roof, even popping up over the 3000 mark. Now, I'm working this area. Having this pagoda, as you can see, is so important for winning the game. Taking this forward position quickly and being able to spray down DPM from cover will win you the game every single time. If you can dominate this pagoda, you will win the game. However, I'm quite sad that they removed this from high tier matchups, so I don't really get to play on this map too often now. But in the occasion I do see it in a lower tier game, I am quite happy as I am able to just demolish targets like this Tiger P, who do not understand that taking the temple steps is the most important thing. Now, heavy tanks do spawn closer to the temple, so that Tiger P could have very well made it up to the temple steps had he known what was going on. Now, I'm going to try and put a shot into this final Tiger P, and hopefully I can just really buff out my damage. I try going for that APCR round, but my friend takes him out in the SU-100Y. And I tried going back to AP, but I wasn't really looking at the ammo loadout, so I don't actually go back to AP, and I realized that I go into APCR. I was wondering why I was looking like I was low rolling all this time, and I said, oh, I was still on APCR. But regardless, I put in the final shots into the Tiger P, and we end the game. Let's take a look at the post-game results. We end the game with about 3,600 damage and two destroyed making about a 19,000 credit profit and receiving a mastery badge for our troubles. We even receive a little chunk of spare parts for our effort, and that will go a long way towards putting some equipment on this little tank. Now, if you enjoyed that content, please hit that like button and subscribe for more, and if you didn't, 
please leave your constructive criticism in the comments. As always, I enjoyed sharing my passion with you today, and I'll see you next time.